The Addiction Studies program at East Los Angeles College is making a lasting impact on many students both in and out of the classroom. With only 10 classes and two internships, students can become certified addiction specialists and begin their career. 100%. 100% of our graduates are offered employment, 100% of them. Whether they take it or not, that's on them. But everyone is offered employment. Unfortunately, addiction is here to stay. And we have a lot of treatment centers that want well-trained counselors, and that's what East LA College offers. That opportunity for the students to really learn about addiction. Not just the behavior, but also what's underneath it. What's making the person use or drink. The program also reflects the needs of the local community. I believe our program is fantastic. And why? Because of our partnerships. We have excellent partnerships with all of the treatment centers around the area. And they call me and they say, you know what, Lisa, we really could use LGBTQ training. You know what? We did it. So we started LGBTQ aff affirming counselor training, social equity training, um, gender equality training, documentation. We have documentation classes offered completely free to the students through Perkins grants and through other grants that we secure. Case management, whatever the community wants, we turn it into a workshop and offer it to our students. After this first class in addiction studies, at the time it was called chemical dependency, um, I wanted to learn why my family was the way it was or why I thought the way I thought. And my aunt dropped out after the first class and I said, oh no, I got to continue. This, this is so amazing, the information that I'm learning. So I went on to um, take these courses in the addiction study program that was required. And before you know it, you know, two and a half years down the road, I was in my internship and I remember my husband said, well, aren't you gonna get a job? <laughs> and I said, oh, I just love the school, I just love the classes. Well, I remember first um, the teachers, the professors. All the professors that I had within our program were just, they were so patient, they were so tolerant, they were kind, they were um, not judge, judgmental and I needed that because I was so fearful that people would discover my, you know, my, my insecurities that it would you know, force me out. And um, uh, all of the, the, the classes and the teachers were great. You know, um, Dr. Vartanian, who is now the director, was my first teacher and it was her first semester working. And so we kind of like grew up together and all those students, we remain, um, you know, in touch with each other and we try to give back to the school now. But I remember the graduations, which I always come back to. I remember the, the Salsa, which is Students Against Substance Abuse, you know, all the events and activities that got me to step outside of myself to be more involved with other students. In 2019, the program was awarded a grant to provide prevention specialist training to a specific type of student. Recently, the Chancellor's Office opened up the opportunity to provide an education and a career pathway for individuals who've been formerly incarcerated. The Addiction Studies program applied for that. And this would allow students who, are, who have been formerly incarcerated, who want to select a career in addiction treatment, to come to our program. We offer complete wraparound services, tutoring, books, um, assistance with anything that they need, including computers. The ELAC Foundation has been wonderful with our students to help them get the computers they need to be successful students. We also provide them with a community, and I think that's the most important thing that ELAC offers, is that you're not just a student, you're a part of a group, a family. And we embrace you. We have our clubs, Students Against Substance Abuse. We do outings, we do outreach. And we like to make, we, we make you feel a part of, and I think that's one of the most important parts about our program, is that you're not isolated. You have support and we're here to help you. Well, I was previously incarcerated and uh, going through the California Correctional Facility System was, uh, finally just got tired, said enough was enough. And I was fortunate enough to be led to the focus program for previously incarcerated individuals that want to change and make a difference in their lives, not only for myself, 
for my family and my community. I was a person who had been impacted greatly by the justice system. So I knew I was going to be limited on where I could work and the things I could do for my future. So I spoke to a counselor and I asked him, how'd you get your job? You know, where'd you go? He goes, I went to ELAC. So that was the beginning for me to attend ELAC. I took, I went with what, what he was working with and I liked it. So that's how I joined the addiction studies program because of a counselor at the rehab center I was at. I believe that knowledge is truly power. And, and having the opportunity to be here at ELAC and to have this program accessible to uh, uh, individuals like myself that are looking to move forward with their life and make a positive change in their life and a positive change in the community um, really inspires me. But these are not the only type of addiction studies students. I have students who are in high school who have taken our courses. Some of the high schools have asked for our courses and they've become prevention specialists. So high school students, recent graduates, students who are getting their bachelor's degree in psychology but need that little extra push, even if they're community college students, to that push to get them accepted into university, this will help them. A master's level students who are social workers, um, marriage family therapists who just want an understanding about the world of addiction, high school counselors are some of our students, and then the formerly incarcerated. I just had no fear whatsoever, and the thing about it was everybody was just, we just all formed a tight group. You just really get to know the people, and everybody, you always have a chance to share your story. Um, and whether you're young or old or in recovery or been affected by someone with addiction, I mean, they're, you know, in, in, have been in jail or not, you know, there's everybody. I, I want to come back and help my community. That's my ultimate goal. I found my purpose. Now I want to come back and help my community so others can do the same thing too. As long as I see some type of impact in them, I fulfilled some of my happiness, some of my goals, and that's what I want to do. I feel like my path is still open, and with this program, there's so many different opportunities, and there's so many jobs that are constantly being offered to us, you know, um, which is great. The, um, professors are constantly like, hey, we're hiring here, they're hiring there you know, apply. So there, it, there's, there's no question about whether there's going to be jobs available, which is really a great feeling. My peers, we come from the same place and that we can have the ability with the support of the program to make a difference, you know, in, uh, not in only in our lives, but in the community. And made me really feel at home, made me felt accepted. Uh, uh, the, they didn't feel there was any kind of stigma that was placed on me. They knew, they knew our background and that we can do this with the, uh, with the support of the of ELAC and the program and our peers. One of the things that I see about our students is their passion and that is what really led me to wanting to teach in this program. Every student in here has been touched by addiction in some way. My passion later on over the years has wanted to give back to the school, wanting to give back to other students because as I get ready to retire in a few years, I want to pass the baton to the younger students and I see that they're just as passionate as me and a lot of them come from backgrounds that they may not be able to identify as challenges now, but if they are taking classes and going to school, it'll open the doors for them to connect and to heal and to move on and to, um, you know, tap into the resilientness that I was able to. And it really made sense to me to be in a program that's going to help me and give me the opportunity to find um, my calling, my, my reason for being now. To learn more about this program and the degrees and certificates they offer, go to bit.ly slash elac addiction studies.